For our PBL, we got tyrosinemia. Tyrosinemia is a disorder in which the body is unable to break down this amino acid, known as tyrosine, which is how it got its name. Tyrosine is found in many foods such as chicken, turkey, and a lot of dairy products. However, the body just doesn't seem to like it. But why can't the body break down tyrosine? Well, there are three genes that can be responsible for tyrosinemia. The first gene is the TAT gene, which makes the enzyme tyrosine aminotransferase. This enzyme is used for the first step in the breakdown of tyrosine. The second gene, which is also the second step in breaking down tyrosine, is the HPD gene. This gene provides the instructions to make this enzyme. The last gene is the FAH gene, which gives instructions to the fumarylacetoacetate hydrolase enzyme. This element is the final step in breaking down tyrosine. It converts the previous acid into two different acids, which then can be digested by the body. Mutations in these three genes can cause a decrease in the enzyme activity, which then clogs the tyrosine in tissues and organs, and that can cause symptoms like liver disease, kidney failure, and even intellectual disability. People with tyrosinemia really have to be careful with their diet because many protein-filled foods directly affect their metabolism. Usually, patients are given a low tyrosine diet as well as a low phenylalanine diet, seen as phenylalanine can also be converted into tyrosine. By keeping up with the diet and staying away from foods with tyrosine like those mentioned before, people with tyrosinemia can be as healthy as people who don't have this disorder.